everyone. Today we are going to play with symbols to create an artwork inspired by the work of Jean Moreau. He was famous for his use of symbols in his art and you can see he has many many different symbols. Um, a lot of times he would use the circle, the red circle for the sun. Um, he has the star. You can actually, if you look carefully, this is called cat encircled by the flight of a bird. Um, if you look carefully, I think you can probably find the cat's face. Um, so he did use kind of this target type symbol for the eyes a lot. Um, you can see also that the, um, the line here, he uses a lot of lines that kind of travel around too. And there's the swirls, all sorts of different symbols. And he had symbols for lots of different things. Now, um, when we create our artwork, we are going to be using an alphabet to create a hidden message. So that alphabet that we're going to use is inspired by Moreau's work and uses some of the same shapes and designs as his symbols, but you have to come up with your message. So if you want to keep it simple, you can use your name. Um, you do first and last name. You want to be at least 10 letters overall. So if your name is on the shorter side, you might want to include your middle name. You also could write a secret message. So um, it's up to you to decide what you want to do for your message, but I would write it on the back of your paper. Um, so I did this one based on my name. So I used all the letters of my name to create this one. And um, when you're doing this, you're going to want a blank sheet of paper. You're going to want some colored pencils. You can see the colors um, that Moreau used here. He used the similar colors to what I did, which was the green, the blue, the yellow, and the red. Um, for this one, I chose kind of my favorite group of colors that I like to use here. Um, so I've got kind of the orange, the magenta, the purple, and the red. So I'm going to use those. Um, you're also going to want um, a black marker for sure. If you want to do some drawing in pencil first and trace over it because you're more comfortable doing that that way, you can. I'm just going to go ahead and draw in the black marker. So if you want a pencil, you can use it and then trace. That's up to you. So when you get started, um, come up with your message first and put it on the back of your paper. Um, hmm. I am going to write a message, a secret message that says um, my, let's see, I'll do my eyes are blue. You could do any kind of message. You can put a joke in there if you have like a funny joke you like to tell. I'm gonna go ahead and work with this. So, my eyes are blue. That's my message. So, that means I need to find the, the symbol for each of these letters. As I go, I like to, you can cross them out so that you know that you've done them. So, I'm gonna start with M. You can see M is this moon shape here. Now, it helps if you make some of these bigger than others. So, I'm gonna actually make a fairly big moon shape here. So, it kind of looks like a letter C and then I make the line on the inside. All right, so that's my first one. I'm just gonna cross it out back here. Let's use my marker for that. And then I'm gonna do the Y next, and I, I'm gonna have more than one of those. All right, so the Y, this is kind of his, his symbol for the eyes, which is funny since that's part of my message. So I'm gonna do those two circles, and then I'm gonna do a curve that goes up and down and back up, and then I'm gonna fill in those circles. All right, so that's my second one. I should probably make sure I have 10 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're good. Oh, I have a lot of E's in here. I've got four E's. All right, so E is kind of that eyeball symbol. So I'm going to do it here to start with. And then cross that out. And then do my next Y. So I've got another moon. Um, it is okay to overlap symbols. So I could draw the moon actually going through another symbol. And that's fine. And another E. I'm going to go really big on this one. All right, there's my next one. I've got an S now. Oh, that one's like a star. So, kind of like an X and then a line and a line. Now I have an A. So, I'm going to do an arrow. Um, I'm going to do it like this, kind of big, put the top of it up here, and then there's the bottom of it, okay, I've got an R, let's see, I'll go one, two, three circles, 
another E. Do one that goes across that one. A B. So I've got kind of a bean shape. An L, the loopy. A U, which is a swirl that ends in a circle. And one more E. I'm gonna put it in this space down here that doesn't feel like it has as much. So some of mine are bigger, some are smaller, some are overlapping other ones. That's an overlap, that's an overlap. And I've tried to kind of put them all over the paper so they're not all in one spot. So once you're done with your design, then you're gonna focus on your coloring. So when you're coloring, what you wanna do is you wanna focus on the shapes. So you don't necessarily need to color lines. Like I don't need to color around the line. I don't need to color on the outsides of the shapes. I'm just gonna focus mostly on the insides of the shapes. But as they overlap, you'll notice, and Moreau does this a lot in his work, the colors change. So when it overlaps, it's a different space. That overlap is a different space and it becomes a different color. So if I was going to start up here and start with this, this bean shape, right here I'd color it red, but then when it's inside the moon, I could change the color. And then, then when it gets to the other side, I can change it again. Try to do your very best coloring here. So make sure you're coloring inside the lines, you're coloring the whole space. If you don't have colored pencils, you can use markers or crayons to color with, or even paint if you feel like painting it, that's fine. Um, I'm just using the colored pencils because I can use them in smaller spaces, so it works a little easier. But you still wanna make sure it's not like this. That's not a finished coloring in. We wanna make sure we fill the whole space with color while we're keeping it inside the lines. All right, so then you're just kind of working on filling in the parts of your symbols, the shape parts of your symbols, not necessarily the line parts, but the shapes. And then you can just keep adding on until you are finished, like this one. All right, I hope you have fun. We'll see you later.